With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, today we have a question. A pea plant which is homozygous for green pods which are inflated is crossed with a homozygous plant for yellow pods which are constricted. Answer the following question. Write the phenotypic ratio of the F generation. Okay, let's continue with the answer. So, now continue. let's continue with the answer. First, we have the pea plant. Okay, so first we will write the phenotype. What is the phenotype of parent P1? What is the phenotype of parent P1? Green and inflated. Pods are generally green and inflated. This is the dominant character. And what is the phenotype of parent P2? It is generally yellow and constricted pods. Okay, this is the yellow and constricted. And this phenotype is generally recessive character. Next, we will uh, write the genotypes. Okay, students, what is the genotype for this? Capital G, capital G, capital I, capital I. And what is the genotype for this? Small g, small g, small i, small i. Now, we will write down the gametes. Okay. See, the gametes are, gametes form like this. Gametes. In the case, same type of gametes are formed, capital G, capital I. And in this case, same type of gametes are formed, small g, small i. Okay, these are the gametes. Now we will make the cross between these two plants which is known as the cross pollination and the F1 generation will carry the capital G, small g, capital I, small i. Okay, this shows that plants contains the, the pods are generally green and inflated. Okay, it shows the pods are generally green and inflated. Okay, now we have to write the second generation. For this second generation, the parents genotype is the parents genotype for the second generation. I am writing down the second generation. It would be capital G, small g, capital, capital I, small i. And next parent capital G, small g, capital I, small i. Okay, now we will draw the gametes of these parents. Now we will draw the gametes. So gametes are generally formed like this. Capital G capital I. Capital G small i. Small g capital I. And small g small i. Okay. Same here gametes are formed. Capital G capital I. Capital G small i. Small g capital I. And small g. Small g small i. Okay, now we have to draw the Punnett square to calculate the phenotypic ratio of the second generation that is the F2 generation. Okay, so I am drawing the, okay, I am drawing the Punnett square. Just a minute. So, for the, see this is like, why we draw the Punnett square? Generally, Punnett square is drawn to make the study easy, to make the, uh, to calculate the ratio easy. That is why we draw the uh, Punnett square. First, uh, on the first side, we will uh, write like this. And on the second side, we will write like this. Okay. These are the gametes because we have to self-pollinate between these two parents. Now, this is capital G, capital G, capital I, capital I, capital G, capital G, capital I, small i, capital G, small G, capital I, capital I, capital G, small G, capital I, small I, capital G, capital G, capital I, small I, capital G, capital G, small I, small I, capital G, small G, capital I, small I, capital G, small G, small I, small I, capital G, small G, capital I, capital I, capital G, small G, capital I, small I, Capital G, sorry, small g, small g. This is small g, small g, capital I, capital I. Small g, small g, capital I, small i. Capital G, small g, capital I, small i. Capital G, small g, capital I, small i. Small g, small g, 
कैपिटल आई स्मॉल आई स्मॉल जी स्मॉल जी स्मॉल आई स्मॉल आई ओके सो दिस इज जनरली ग्रीन एंड इन्फ्लेटेड 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 दिस इज ग्रीन एंड कंस्ट्रक्टेड दिस इज ओके दिस इज ग्रीन एंड कंस्ट्रक्टेड नेक्स्ट ग्रीन एंड इन्फ्लेटेड अगेन दिस इज ग्रीन एंड कंस्ट्रक्टेड नेक्स्ट दिस इज ग्रीन एंड इन्फ्लेटेड ग्रीन एंड इन्फ्लेटेड नेक्स्ट इज दलो एंड इन्फ्लेटेड ओके दिस इज येलो एंड इन्फ्लेटेड येलो एंड इन्फ्लेटेड नेक्स्ट वी हैव द ग्रीन एंड इन्फ्लेटेड ग्रीन एंड इन्फ्लेटेड नेक्स्ट इज दलो एंड येलो एंड कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओके येलो एंड कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड लास्ट इज दलो एंड सॉरी दिस इज दलो एंड इन्फ्लेटेड दिस इज द लास्ट इज द लास्ट वी हैव द okay the and headline is this is the green and the sorry this is yellow and constructed okay uh, let's uh, check it again there is uh, is everything okay or not this is green and inflated 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 this is the green and constructed this is also the green and constructed okay there should be this is uh, also the yes here should be yes 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 it should be right again okay what would be its phenotype i am writing down it again capital g small g small i small i so it should be green and constructed okay so nine are the nine are the green and inflated Three are the green and constructed. Three are the yellow and uh, inflated, and three are the yellow and constructed. In this way, the ratio we calculate is nine ratio, three ratio, three ratio, one. This is the phenotypic ratio. Okay, write down the here. Phenotypic, phenotypic ratio is the nine ratio, three ratio, three ratio, one. okay we have calculate how it comes okay student this is the final answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today